This is Renee Rabbit of Rabbit Design, and this is part of my tips, tricks, and hacks for Chief Architect playlist on my YouTube channel. Please take a look at that and also subscribe. Uh, this is going to be going over how to create a pattern file, a PAT file, if you will, from a texture source. And Chief Architects has some stuff built into their software now, starting from, I believe, X12. I could be wrong. could have been X11 where they introduced that. And we're going to get into that in a minute. But in the description of this video, I'm going to link you to this particular thread, which is on Chief Talk, Chief Architects Forums. And we're in the section called Symbols and Content. And this particular thread is called Custom Material Generation with Substance Player. Now, Chief Content uploaded this themselves. This is Dustin Cruz's work, fantastic guy at Chief Content. And he's created four different tools we can use here using the Substance Player. And it describes how to get into these tools, so I won't go too far into it. But let's go ahead and jump into Substance Player and their tile building tool. Now, here I've got a quartz hex tile that I've created using this tool and I'm going to go ahead and export this as a bump map to a folder I've already set up. So base name I want to call this, we're just going to call this hex tile to keep my naming conventions the way I'd like them and export all outputs and it's going to be a very quick process. There you go, that part's done. The next part is I want to go back and switch my material to something that has a very clean image and we're going to explain why that's so important here in just a minute. I'm going to export this as well. I'm going to change the name of this to textile underscore bump and just export that texture file or what should be called a diffuse map. There we go. And now we'll switch into Chief Architect and I'm going to get into my plan materials and we're going to create a new material and we'll call it hex tile. In fact, it'll be hex tile number two. In my texture panel of my defined material data box, underneath texture source, I'm going to browse for that. Well, Typically, you would put in this texture right here, which is that marble, but instead I'm going to put in the bump map. The purpose of this is if I get back into my pattern panel and get down into the pattern section, I can do a pattern from texture. And here we go. This is how we can create a texture to match our diffuse map or that texture source. Now, something to keep in mind here, if we were to, let's get back to that texture panel and we're going to instead put in this texture source. When we get back to our pattern and create pattern from texture, what's going to happen is we're going to get some of that marbling effect, or we possibly could. So to avoid that, this is why I export that second file, which was a more clean image. Because once we've created our pattern, back in our pattern panel, pattern from texture, here we go. I can, underneath this section right here, which is an unnamed section, I can choose to keep pattern and texture in sync. So that back in my texture panel, if I change this to something like 60 inches, we're going to see that the pattern itself has changed with it. So once that pattern is in sync, we can change this back to our marbled texture source. And just to finish this off, we can go ahead and add this normal map and then in the properties panel we can add a roughness map. And now we've got a full new material. Now that we've got that material, we can get into our 3D menu, get down into our material painter. And underneath our plan materials we can find that hex tile number two and let's take a look at what he does there we go now we've got that pattern file placed on this wall and that's it it's a pretty straightforward process I know I've kind of broken down the steps of this but you can really get this done in a really short amount of time being able to um, get these pattern files to look correct in your vector views so you can pull some some pretty dynamic looking shots in uh, in Chief Architect. So hope this helped and again as always please subscribe.